We have our global watcher, Martin Hutchinson, in the office today. So we're going to talk about Nigeria, where the central bank chief has been suspended by President Goodluck Jonathan and uh, has roiled the markets a little bit. What's happening down there? Why exactly did this happen? Well, I think it's partly politics. I mean, he comes out and says that... Um, the, the central Niger bank chief. The central bank chief comes out and says that there's $20 billion worth gone missing from the Nigerian oil company. And frankly, that's not big news for anybody because everybody's known that the Nigerian oil companies had these problems. The president 15 years ago got away with more than a billion, and that's just what they found. There's almost certainly much more than that. And so the suspension of the central bank chief, he wasn't fired, but sort of got the markets all roiled up. But you think actually this could be a good thing for Nigeria? Well, I think bringing it out and having a proper scandal about uh, Nigerian oil graft is a very good thing because if 20 billion a year or 20 billion in 18 months is going missing, which it seems to be, the central bank's claims look plausible, then in that case, you know, that's money that's been completely wasted in people's Swiss bank accounts and would be doing some good in Nigeria. And they're not going to clean the place up completely. It's not that sort of place. But you make the point that oil underpins the economy quite obviously, but, but that the non-oil economy actually has been doing quite well. Yes, because um, people aren't stealing $20 billion a year worth of it, and therefore that's been growing at sort of 8% a year in the last... Uh, year or so. And what's been the catalyst for that? I mean, it's eyes. all sorts of things. It's agriculture, it's um, hotels, it's property. Um, a lot of it's the um, modern communications, which means that Nigeria has 160 million cell phones on a population of 165 million. And basically this means that all the people out in the countries are able to find out what you know, maize prices are in Chicago, and therefore when the guy comes to them and buys their crop, they don't get ripped off anymore. So your idea is that the sunlight as a disinfectant, uh, if you I can get so. a little bit more in the oil industry, then it, if, it helps you, If you, if you can get a bit it. more sunlight in the oil industry, a bit more of the money that should be going to the government, going to the government, so that it doesn't have to tax so much, doesn't run as big deficits, doesn't borrow as much, then the rest of the economy is doing so well that it should just take off, and the Nigerians have every ability to be a rich country because uh, they're an entrepreneurial lot and they've now got the communications that they didn't have 20 years ago. All right, thanks very much, Martin. We will keep an eye on Nigeria and be back with more Breaking Views next week.